Hey there, cats! Good time of the day to you. I hope you are doing great out there on the other side of the monitor. And today I'm going to show you how to add PS4 exclusive items into the PC version of the search. Uh, this tutorial is not quite necessary because I will attach my 100% save game into the description of this video, so the link will be there. But there may be multiple reasons why you want to do the, the why you want to repeat the whole process yourself, and so I will show you exactly how to do all the stuff that I've done for my save game. And first things first, you will need a powerful cheat table made by a guy whose name I believe is a Swedish Magyar on the Fearless Revolution site. The link will be also in the description, the link to that cheat table. So, the cheat table is the first thing that you will need to launch. It will make things much, much easier for us. Uh, so cheat engine is one program you will need. You launch the cheat table, you open the search and you click yes when it prompts you this question and uh, enable. So one thing this cheat table uh, for, uh, allows you to do is to change the playthrough of the game. So if you don't like be in the new game plus plus plus, you can use pointers on my save game, uh, use menu and modify the playthrough of your game right here. Uh, but what we need to change our weapon is the game data and modify current weapon pointer. So attack once if not populated is what we need to do. In fact, all the stuff in your inventory can be converted with cheat engine. Armor is a bit stubborn, but it can be done as well. Implants can be converted. However, the only thing that cannot be obtained legally is the cobalt control rod and luckily it is a weapon and to convert weapons is very very easy no trouble at all i recommend to convert earth either rain reinforced pipe if you are early in the game because there are like two or three reinforced pipes in the game and you pick one pretty much in the very first location and another weapon which is very good to be converted is mg negotiator because this is a weapon that every security uh, guy, <laughs> every every second security enemy has. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I will convert reinforced pipe. So we attack once, and our cheat table now picked up our reinforced pipe. So all we need to do now is browse this memory region, and this 394F3DE7 is the ID of the reinforced pipe. So, let's pick our uh, any other weapon and 3B4F3DE7 is the ID of the cobalt control rod. So we replace 394F blah 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 to 3B4F3DE7. So we replace our IDs and now, as you can see, the model is from the cobalt control rod. And the icon is from the Cobalt Control Road. You can notice that the name is still Reinforced Pipe and the stats, the damage, the impact speed, the attack speed, medium, medium, very low, they are from the Reinforced Pipe, because this weapon is not completely Reinforced Pipe yet. Luckily, all we need to do to fix all this stuff is to prompt the game to save, which is like... Uh, I don't know, let's do something. Do we even need to do anything? Or will the game save? Does it doesn't seem like it's saving. I do not see that after save thing. So I don't know. Change Exeric appearance, whatever. Still Oh yeah, now it's saved. I saw that white square in the corner of the screen. So once the game is saved, we exit the game and we re-enter it. Come on now. The search I'm saying. Yeah, here we go. Oh, so all we now need to do is to wait for the game to load. Oh boy. Oh, I'm so hooked on the 80s right now, guys. I'm so hooked on the 80s. I'm watching Conan the Barbarian, looking through the covers of that old Challenge magazine. Classic RPG gaming, man. Shadowrun, Cyberpunk 2020, it all came from the 80s. It was a great time. But alright. Loaded. And now 
As you can see, our weapon is complete control rod. The damage is fixed. It is high. It is higher than um, uh, reinforced pipe, and the stats are now medium, medium, medium. Energy gain is halved as it should be. All in all, everything is correct. Here's your control rod, cobalt control rod. Done. This is all you need to do, really. So pretty easy. Really, nothing to it. Go ahead and have your fun with Cobalt Control Rod. Now, the second thing uh, that is exclusive to PS4 is the rig. This thing that is attached to our character. PS4 has an exclusive blue rig, which I'm going to get right now. I will do it with my save game, so we will need another reload. Out you go. Here comes my save game. And launching the surge again. Ooh. I've actually got to... How do they say? Um, be a game master in a role-playing game these days around. In fact, several months ago this autumn. You know, I've liked it. And what's more important, the players seem to like it as well. They seem to like to play my weird universe, which is a weird mix of anything that goes metal and rocking and rolling. It's... Uh, crazy stuff based it on the Warhammer 40k but with the beats of uh, Star Wars and honestly everything I've ever saw in my life all right back on topic of the video so oh, so many buttons Exorix and jumpsuit appearance all right PS4 Exorix is blue one and it looks very good with this uh, jumpsuit uh, with the starting jumpsuit what we need now is just a cheat engine. The table is not needed, but it wants to be in, in our cheat engine. No, I do not want to lower the associated table and I will have to close my cheat engine and relaunch it. I do not want to save nothing. All right, just reconnect to the search. No need for the cheat table. So. The combination of the currently equipped jumpsuit and exoric is um, a 4 bytes value. As far as I remember, it is 4 bytes. So, default jumpsuit and default exoric is 101. I hope I haven't messed it up and it is really a 4 bytes value. I believe it is. Either way, we will check it out really quickly. So, changing the exorig to the DLC yellow will give us a value of 104. And yes, our value is this, 90, the latest one. So, obviously if you want to check out all the other values, you're free to do it. It's really easy to check them out. So, once you've picked up your uh, jumpsuit that you want to use, let's use... Uh, I don't know which one we will use. Let's use... Uh, let's use default one. I, I really like the default one. It has that Iron Mouse t-shirt under the jumpsuit. I like it. So, what we need to do now is uh, attach the debugger by right-clicking the value and clicking find out what writes to this address. Now let's change the exorig and exorig only. We do not need to change anything related to jumpsuit. So I believe the second value is the one we need. We need to mm, add this address to code list, I believe. Yes. And now, um, what do we need to press? I suddenly forgot what do we need to press. Pardon me. Oh yeah, open the, dis open the disassembler at this location. So yeah, here it is. And now, this is our address. Now we need to press Tools, Auto Assemble, Template, Full Injection. Okay, now we copy the original code, add it under new mem, make another line and write add EAX01 execute. Yes, uh, doesn't matter. So now, if it's done correctly, when we change our exorig 
Yes, instead of the yellow Exorig, it picks up the blue PS4 Exorig. If we will change our jumpsuit right now, it will be all... Well, not all buggy, but, you know, it will not change the proper combination, as you can see. Yeah? So, yeah, it goes like this. <laughs> kind of a mess. But... I believe if I'll rotate... Yeah, it, it eventually comes back to our blue Exorik. So... But it is easier just to pick the jumpsuit you want to use pre prior, prior to... Um, doing our assembling stuff, you know, doing our cheat engine magic. Um, so... Unfortunately, as you can see, I cannot quite add the Exorik uh, into the into the inventory properly. I've spent quite some time trying to do it and the biggest um, so to say achievement, the closest to this uh, that I've achieved uh, was actually um, the addition of um, PS4 Exorik as one of the rewards in the Wild West DLC. Uh, that way that Exorik actually seemed like it activated properly. It even, uh, instead of doing uh, the reward line, the game actually had shown me the line DLC activated and all that stuff seemed to be working correctly, but unfortunately the Exoric still haven't appeared in the inventory. So unfortunately, the only way to get this Exoric is only via cheat engine, but it's not that bad because uh, once you've got it working via the cheat engine, uh, the save game stores the PS4 Exoric in itself. So it works uh, rather solidly. In fact, this very save game I'm loading right now will be the one that I will upload in several minutes somewhere and attach the link to it in the description of the video. And as you can see, the save game is loaded and the PS4 Exoric is still here. Therefore, even though the Exoric is not added to your inventory properly, you do not have to repeat the process every time you load the game. So yes, this method is not quite as good as the one I've demonstrated on Cobalt Control Rod, but it works, works solidly. As I've demonstrated, saving and loading the game will not remove the Exoric from your character, and I will demonstrate in a minute that you can swap jumpsuits around freely, it will not remove Exoric as well. The only thing, the only messed up thing is the fact that this method denies you the ability to change Exorics freely. Once you change Exorik, you will have to do all the cheat engine stuff again. But yeah, other than that, it is good and solid. Good and solid. So let's get back into the game and change jumpsuits. Uh, I believe once you get to the core and um, there is a security core and advanced core, something like that, once you get to the new Exorik course, Unfortunately, it will prompt you to equip another Exorik, and this cheat engine hackery process will have to be repeated. But other than that, it is here to stay. So, I hope you have explained it good enough for you, and you've learned what you wanted to learn from this video. A uh, couple more words about Exorik. I'm not sure why, why it is like it is. Uh, Exoriks do not seem to be in the inventory of a character, they seem to have their own separate inventory, which I have failed to find. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, which is most likely. Or maybe PS4 Exoric is actually protected, but I don't understand then why Cobalt Control Rod isn't protected. Uh, well, either way, that's how it works, and I hope I've managed to help you guys. So, thanks for being with me, cats. Good luck.